I don't actually like it when he talks about um, other relationships to other wives. Guys, if last week's episode of Sister Wives proved anything, it's that Robin is the villain of the Brown family. We've all watched her continue to tear the family apart over and over again over the years, and this time it seems like, you guys, it's finally falling apart for good. So as the Brown family falls apart, more and more secrets are now being revealed about things going on behind the scenes that no one could have ever guessed all the secret reasons why Robin has destroyed the Brown family dynamic over the years. So guys, I don't want to waste any time. Let's just jump right on into this one. Well, on this past week's episode of Sister Wives, everything Robin and Cody have been trying to control with the family since the beginning of the pandemic just came crashing down. It all began with Ariella's birthday party. If you guys don't know, Ariella is the youngest child of the Brown family and Robin's daughter. And after they were all tested negative, they decided to throw her a birthday party with the entire family. And it was a huge difference from just a few weeks before when the entire family was forced to follow Cody's crazy strict rules to avoid getting COVID. And I don't even know what to say about that anymore i think that my cure has been worse than the um the disease but that's just a personal thing struggling a lot second guessing myself which i probably shouldn't do at this point but it's been a long two years with this whole thing almost two years and you know when they were reading the rules they just couldn't believe it he was asking the family to wipe down everything that entered the house and quarantine for two weeks and just a lot more so janelle and christine agree that that wasn't realistic for their kids considering that they both you know work outside of their house but they all decided to do it so that they could celebrate christmas together but that seemed to be non-existent when it came to ari's birthday so instead of cody's strict rules, they all just had to test negative, and the wives seemed glad that the family was returning to normalcy somewhat, sort of, and then it all came crashing down. So throughout the pandemic, Robin has only allowed one person into her house, and that is her nanny. This was a huge pain point for the other wives, obviously, who were not allowing outside people into their home whatsoever, and who were not allowed into Robin's home. I have little kids. And so I kind of just had to run my will with Cody's with whatever he decided and just do what he was doing because that's the only way my little kids would be able to see him. A few of the wives and their kids even insinuated that Robin was to blame for the strict rules, not Cody. Making this exception, she made even crazier. So that's why it was especially insane when Robin's nanny tested positive, you guys, for COVID just a few days after the entire family had gotten together for Ari's birthday. So yes, you heard that right. The one wife who was supposedly keeping the family apart was the one who ended up exposing the entire family to COVID. It just doesn't get much more ironic than that, you guys, but it might get even crazier because someone on Reddit questioned whether or not the story was even real. Did the nanny actually get COVID or was this just Robin's attempt at keeping the family apart for even longer? Oh, it's crazy. And it's a great point to bring up, you guys, because we've noticed for years that Robin doesn't seem to be, you know, want to be in this polygamous family, some could say, even though she said that the opposite on an episode a few weeks ago. She doesn't seem to get along with all of the wives and all the tension has only gotten worse since the pandemic. Since it's January of 2021 on the show, she's had almost an entire year of Cody to herself and of not being able to get together with the other wives and their kids. It's interesting that as soon as they let their guard down and get more comfortable hanging out again, Robin is suddenly exposed to COVID by the one person that they let into their house. So obviously this caused Cody to backtrack and uh, you know update his rules or whatnot, which was very very upset into the other wives, but was it to Robin? You know, we can't talk about this episode without bringing up the elephant in the room, Cody and Christine's divorce. Now, obviously they didn't really get divorced because they were only spiritually married, but this was the episode where things officially fell apart for them. And weirdly enough, it seems like it all just points back to Robin once again. When Cody and Christine are discussing the state of their marriage in their separate interview, you know, Cody mentioned that, that their problem started 12 years before. And you guys want to guess what happened about 12 years before? That's when Cody's relationship began with Robin. So when you look back at the time in their lives, it's not good. And honestly, it's pretty shocking. In their book, of all of the wives talked about how taboo it is in their religion for a married man to have a traditional courtship with a new potential wife. Instead, most of the time, the husband will just have a very short courting period, and he's not allowed to do anything physical with the potential wife until they're married. And that includes kissing. Janelle and Christine followed those rules very strictly, you guys, when they were dating Cody. But 
Robin, can you guess what she did? She did not. Christine especially had spent like literally almost no time getting to know or dating Cody and their marriage suffered for it at the beginning. So you can only imagine how upsetting it was for her when Cody started dating Robin and he wasn't following the rules that he followed with her at all. Cody had no problem kissing Robin before marriage and they were constantly going on dates before they got married. He even went so far as to have his older children babysit Robin's children so that he could take her out. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty number one disgusting and disrespectful to his family and otherwise. But of course, it's Cody Brown. So obviously, it's going to be disgusting. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. You can't blame Christine for getting jealous about that. Their relationship was horrible at the beginning because they hadn't dated or gotten to know each other. And all of the sudden, he had no problem ignoring their religion so that he could date Robin like he didn't have, you know, three other wives. Now, even though it wasn't explicitly said, it's interesting that Cody's willing to admit that their problem started when Robin came into the picture. Christine was a little more open about the fact. She outright said that her daughters have had a hard time seeing their dad favor other wives and their kids over their mom and themselves. So obviously, we all know she's talking about Robin. Cody doesn't favor anyone as much as he favors Robin either, keep in mind. And that became even clearer a couple episodes back when Cody had to travel to Utah for Janelle's mom's funeral. In the episode, Cody decided to attend the funeral and then quarantine for 10 days so that the family could still celebrate Christmas. And this meant that for the first time over the course of the entire pandemic, Cody was staying away from Robin and her kids for 10 days. Now, it's pretty insane when you think about the fact that this was the first time he was going to spend a large amount of time away from them. Meanwhile, none of his other kids have spent almost any time with him throughout the pandemic. Now, Robin said something about it that I personally thought was completely tone deaf about the the entire situation. She said that Ari was really struggling with being away from her dad for 10 days, you guys. I mean, come on. She said that even when he goes to the other wives' houses for two days at a time, she has a hard time with it and misses him so much. But I mean, it's like, does she not realize that the rest of the kids have been forced to stay away from their dad for almost a year because of her and Cody's strict rules? Now, in the same episode, Janelle's son cried to Cody about how much he misses him since the pandemic started. It was kind of a crazy contrast if you ask me to Robin's comments. And although Robin is currently being dissected as the family villain every week, many people don't realize that her distancing of the family has started years before. There are signs of her, you know, manipulative behavior towards Cody and all the other wives from the very beginning. As we all know, Mary was Cody's wife, making her his only legal wife. They actually seemed to have a pretty great relationship at the beginning of the show, but that all took a sad turn years later, but no one really knows the truth about why. Robin and Cody asked Mary to legally divorce Cody, we all know this, in 2014 so that Robin and Cody could legally get married. At the time, they said it was so Cody could adopt Robin's kids from her first marriage, and while that was definitely likely a part of it, it's pretty interesting to me now knowing that she's his legal wife because she's really the only one who's in a romantic relationship at this point. And after Mary and Cody divorced, Mary was clearly very upset about it. In one scene from that season, she told Robin that the divorce was done and was very emotional while Robin just, you know, kind of blew it off. So just a few months later, Mary began an emotional affair with a man online who turned out to be a catfish. We've all seen it. You know, when the affair was finally uncovered, it completely broke and just ruined ruin and ended Cody and Mary's relationship. And while Mary's always gotten the blame, it's hard to really recognize that Mary may not have been feeling so vulnerable had she not been asked to legally divorce Cody. I mean, you cannot blame her for feeling rejected after that entire mess. Now, these days, Mary seems to be the only sister wife that Robin has a relationship with. It seems like Janelle and Christine have realized just how manipulative she is and that her goal seems to be, you know, to be a monogamous relationship with Cody. Of course, even though she says that's not the case, and she married Cody because she wanted the big family that comes with a polygamous marriage, it's hard to see that that's the truth when her actions are the exact opposite. And even though this episode was filmed a year ago, just about now, it doesn't seem like things have changed that much today because Robin and Cody were recently seen in two pretty interesting places. Number one, first they were seen at Victoria's Secret. Allegedly, Robin was returning some, you know, undergarments. And allegedly, Cody and Robin even stopped and posed with fans. None of the other wives were anywhere to be found. And then just a couple days later, Cody and Robin were seen on a one-on-one -on -one date at a restaurant. Before 
before, they all used to go on dates together. We've seen it on the show multiple times, so why is he now just taking Robin out to dinner? If we know anything about Sister Rides, it's that time and time again, Robin is shown as the villain. Maybe she is. To me, you know, she kind of is, but hey, maybe she isn't. It definitely seems like she is a little bit more manipulative towards the entire family, but maybe it's just the editing. Hopefully, we do get to see, you know, some answers on this week's Tell All episode, but rumor has it that Robin doesn't feel comfortable answering very many questions. Phew, you guys, I can only wonder why. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please do me a huge, gigantic favor and hit that like, follow, share, subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.